I have an update viewers from Coram and Alamata towns from Southern Front. The two towns were captured by Tigray Defense Forces 72 hours ago. We saw Gata Choreda, TPL spokesperson in Alamata as well. We saw Abraha Tisfai, General Denkel of Tigray Defense Forces leading this operation to capture Koram and Alamata. But now we are receiving some reports that the two towns, Koram and Alamata, have been retaken by Amhara Regional Forces. Tigray Defense Forces had to withdraw from Koram and Alamata, though fighting is still being reported. But most sources are claiming that TDF. Uh, have lost the control of both Koram and Alamata. Uh, viewers, when TDF took control of the two towns, after that we saw calls for mobilization of forces from Amhara region's president uh, Agagnehu Tishagar. Amhara state's president uh, had requested ENDF support. Then PM Abiy Ahmed uh, hinted at new military action. And after that, we saw mobilization of forces from Oromia and Siddhama viewers. We saw arrival of large number of forces from Oromia in Raya in Afar. Then last night, we saw uh, mobilization of forces from Sidama viewers. Sidama State President Desta Lidamo held a press conference. He said in his press conference uh, that TPLF was being backed by Sudan and Egypt and he was sending his forces to help the people of Volkayet and Afar. So we saw heavy mobilization of regional forces. Ethiopian National Defense Forces and Amhara Regional Forces towards Alamata and Koram and Tigray Defense Forces, they had to withdraw from these two places. So uh, TDF were uh, in control of the two places for only what, 48 hours. After 48 hours, they had to withdraw. What does this mean? Does, does it mean that uh, TPLF's offensive, TDF's offensive on a southern front is over. No views. It will keep on happening. You will see TDF launching uh, attacks. You will see Amhara forces launching counter offensives. It will keep on happening. Fighting is still underway in the vicinity of Koram viewers. Uh, but several sources have confirmed now that Tigray defense forces, they had to withdraw from the two towns, Koram and Alamata, uh, because uh, a very uh, powerful counter offensive was launched by Amhara forces and Ethiopian National Defense Forces. Whereas when Amhara forces withdrew from Alamata, we saw that they withdrew without suffering major losses, especially in Alamata. We did see uh, some fighting uh, near Koram, as I reported in previous videos. But uh, Alamata was captured very peacefully by uh, Tigray Defense Forces 72 hours ago because Amhara Regional Forces, they kept their uh, operational capabilities intact. They withdrew, then they reorganized, and with the help of Ethiopian National Defense Forces, with the help of regional forces, they launched a very powerful counter-offensive and Tigray defense forces. They had to withdraw from both Koram and Alamata. We are hearing similar news from Mesebre, uh, the town situated on Tigray Amhara border areas uh, near Mayani at the Harish refugee camps. But I could not confirm for that May Sabri has been retaken by Amhara regional forces. I'll update you in coming hours about May Sabri. But Alamata and Koram, they have come once again under the control of Amhara forces. Because we are seeing here that uh, uh, there is now this obvious new alignment. Tigray is on one side and Ethiopian federal government 
Amhara uh, region, Afar region, Siddhama region, Romia region, all these regions, their forces, they are on the other side. So TDF, TPLF, they are uh, now fighting on several fronts because all regional forces, they have joined hands. They want to stop uh, Tigray defense forces from capturing Western Tigray and Southern Tigray. So if, if, if TDF uh, keeps on advancing on these two fronts, we'll see more of these mobilization from these regional forces. Ethiopian National Defense Forces, they were weakened after the fall of Makele because we saw that several divisions of Ethiopian National Defense they were destroyed uh, before the fall of Makele. But after that, Abiy Ahmed called for the support of regional forces and Oromia and Siddhama, they are supporting Abiy Ahmed government and Amhara regional government. Uh, we are hearing about Somali region's soldiers as well, that they are, they are being deployed to Amhara. We could not confirm views. Uh, I am just a little surprised about Sidama views. Sidama state's president is openly saying that uh, TDF is being backed by Sudan and Egypt. So he is openly backing Amhara state, he is openly backing Ethiopian federal government. And he has almost declared a war on, on, on uh, Tigray. Ethiopian Federation is getting weakened views. Inter-region relations will deteriorate in coming months, in coming days. Because now when states are declaring war on each other, it means that uh, Ethiopian Federation is becoming weak. Uh, when uh, Sidama state's president is declaring war on Tigray. He is sending his soldiers to fight in Afar and, and uh, in uh, uh, Raya. And when uh, Romia state's uh, communication uh, head is also saying that uh, we will back uh, Amhara region, will back Ethiopian National Defense Forces, it means that uh, relations between Tigray and other regions of Ethiopia will deteriorate in coming days. Ethiopian Federation is becoming weak. Tigray is alone, viewers, now. There is no state supporting, there is no state supporting Tigray. Uh, the states, uh, Ethiopian states are accusing Tigray of being backed by West, by Egypt, by Sudan. Uh, is a TPLF being backed by Sudan and Egypt? We don't have any solid evidence so far. I mean, if uh, these states are claiming, if Ethiopian federal government is claiming that these uh, uh, countries like Sudan and Egypt are backing TPLF, they're not showing any evidence. Where is this backing? Are they providing weapons? Are they providing uh, logistical support? What do they mean by saying that uh, Egypt and Sudan are backing TPLF and TDF? Tigray is under a siege. We know that on all sides there are Amhara forces, Aratian forces and other regions forces um, all around Tigray. Tigray is under siege. If Egypt and Sudan are helping TPLF, where is this help coming from? How is this help entering Tigray? So several questions, uh, viewers, but uh, interstate relations in Ethiopia are deteriorating, viewers. In coming days, we'll see more intensified offensives by Ethiopian federal government and other regions against Tigray defense forces. Thank you for watching.